Disney. How are you doing? It's your good, good friend, Shanice Carey. I have come with to you guys many times, trying to forewarn you. I was trying to be your friend. I wanted to give you a helping hand and let you know that the actions that you were taking were on a direct path to downfall. I was trying to help you. You've just finished watching the documentary that I warned you about. Disney, from Prince Charming to Wicked Witch. And in this documentary, many of your secrets have been revealed. Stuff that you did not want anyone to know. Stuff that you had hid in your closet. I told you the skeletons were going to come out. And they've come out. You've heard from Tina. You've heard from Royce. You've heard from Stella. You've heard from so many people who have done so much intensive research into your background to expose all those lovely skeletons that I told you were in your closet. I told you they were going to come out, they were going to dance. They're dancing now. And now you want to know how do I get these skeletons to stop dancing? Disney, I'm here for you. As crazy as it sounds, I'm here for you. I am here to help you get your foot out of the bear trap that you have stepped right into. You saw the trap. Everyone pointed out to you. They said, look, Disney, right there. Look, it's the trap. Don't step in it. Please, whatever you do, don't step in it. And you stepped right in it. Right smack in the middle of the trap. Cling! Now, you're all trapped up. You're caught. You don't know what to do. Your foot is all stuck. You're all confused. I'm here to help you. I, Disney, have become your friend. And I am going to let you know what you need to do to get out of here. If you've noticed, there have been some things that I've told you that I'm sure when I said it, you were like, this broad is crazy. But they actually came to be true. Your girl Oprah. What's up with your girl? Own? I don't even know a show that airs on there. I don't know if anyone knows a show that airs on there or has ever seen a show that has aired on there. Is Oprah even still alive? Has anyone heard from Oprah? She went up against the soaps, and all those people that loved her now could care less. We tried to warn Oprah. We told her what her actions were going to do to her and her new network, and it happened. Alright? You're stuck. On June 20th, we did a protest in which I warned you. Because I asked the soap fans, if you own Disney stock, let it go. Because obviously, since they have shown they don't care about you, you need to show them you don't care about them. And the fans have stood up in full force. That date was June 20th. About a week and a half, two weeks later, that video from that protest here in Times Square, New York City, went viral. That was in July. In August, your stock dropped 10, 11, not 10, 11 dollars. That's unheard of. You guys were Goliath. You guys were Goliath. We were David. We had our slingshot and our rock, and we came slinging. We hit you right smack in the middle of the forehead. 
And now, I'm here to help you out. I'm here to help you out with Disney. As you've seen, these things that I've told you are going to happen, have actually happened. So now, I am here to help you, Disney, look like the hero. Okay? Now, luckily for you, you guys have already set this new step. You've set, you've set it up already. You have somebody in the forefront who also fans Dean as the devil. Brian Falls. You've used him already as your fall guy. Now, you need to dig that in. We had nothing to do with it. This is all Brian's fault. We brought him in here. We were going to, you know, we moved all my children to L.A. And we were going to make these soaps so much better. And things were going to be so well for the network and for the soaps. And he tricked us. He tricked us. All of a sudden, the next thing we knew, stuff is getting canceled. People are upset. We're trying to talk to him. Brian, what are you doing? This, the fans don't want this, Brian. You see the Facebook petitions and the YouTube petitions, the riots and the rallies, the protests. They don't want it. And he did it anyway. And Disney, that's the role you take. You take the victim role. You take the, oh man, we let Brian Franz in here, and he has messed this whole thing up. And now, as the victim, you turn from the victim into the hero. You come along in your cape, and you glide through, and you say, No, Brian Franz, these soaps will not be canceled. You're fired. Step one, fire Franz. Step two, that whole all my children to LA thing, that was never a good idea. You bring AMC back to New York City, back to the ABC studios here in New York City, back to their home, back to where they flourished and became the great epic daytime saga that they have become. Step two, you bring New York, I mean you bring AMC back to New York. Step three, public apology. You publicly, you apologize to every actor on All My Children, every writer, every producer, every stagehand, every janitor, who swept up the mess that with that would come on on screen? Every fan, you have to apologize to the fans. You have to let them know you messed up. You messed up, and you're ready to fix it. And the way you're going to fix it, you are bringing AMC back. One p.m. Eastern Standard Time, AMC will regain its rightful spot in daytime television on ABC, where we have grown and watched them, and where we know we can go home to Pine Valley, or we can go home to Landview, and we can once again, get involved in these lives that we have watched come up, coming up from children. We've watched a lot of these actors as children now come into full grown adulthood. We have witnessed something that has been so epic and so wonderful. And we want it back, Disney. And that is how you fix this. I'm not here to hurt you, Disney. I know I've been very angry. Very, very angry. And you have to understand that. You took my soaps away. What do you expect? But now I'm here to help. 
as crazy as that sounds. I'm here to help you. I've given you a blueprint. We'll go over it one more time. So this is your blueprint on how you get your ratings back. Because you guys went from number one to like last in the ratings. Something else I forgot to mention. You guys are just not doing good at all. So, number one. Fire Franz. Franz has to go. You make him your scapegoat. Whatever. He's got to go. Then, number two. You bring AMC back to New York City. And number three. You put AMC back. On A, B, C. And then you most likely won't be last in the ratings anymore. You know, I don't want to, you know, jump the gun and tell you you guys are going to jump back up in the ratings, but if y'all put the soaps on, you guys won't jump back up in the ratings. So just do it, Disney. I'm here to help you, okay? I mean, I apologize that we had to do this, but we had to let everyone know what exactly is going on behind the scenes. Now that everyone knows, now it is time for damage control, Disney. Get your brooms out, you got some dirt to sweep up. Disney, how are you doing? It's your good, good friend, Shanice Carey. I have come with to you guys many times, trying to forewarn you. I was trying to be your friend. I wanted to give you a helping hand and let you know that the actions that you were taking were on a direct path from Prince Charming to Wicked Witch. And in this documentary, many of your secrets have been revealed. Stuff that you did have to downfall. I was trying to help you. You've just finished watching the documentary that I warned you about. Disney did not want anyone to know Stuff that you had hid in your closet. I told you the skeletons were going to come out. And they've come out. You've...